Hey guys, I am beyond excited to show you how to make a video for Spotify using Spotify Canvas. Here's one Billy Illish did right here, but if you scroll down here, you'll notice that Spotify says, look, get noticed, hook people, then get them listening. Adding a high quality canvas to a track has increased track shares by up to 200% and meaningfully increased visits to the artist's profile in addition to lists and streams and saves. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use QuickTime Pro to create a canvas for your songs. And so I'm going to my songs right now, I'm in my artist.spotify.com, and I'm going to make a canvas track for my song, No Plan B. And so I'm logged into my artist.spotify.com. What I would do here is I'd click on No Plan B. It's the name of the song. Uh, I go by the artist Manifest, by the way, from Smart Music Business. And I would click on Add Canvas. And then it tells me what my ratio and all the dimensions and everything that you need here, okay? And I searched everywhere how to figure this out. So I really hope that this helps you out because I didn't know what 9 by 16 means or any of that stuff. But um, we're going to be doing this inside of Final Cut Pro. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is, is you want to click on new and you want to click on project. Okay. And then the most important part is, is what your video ratio is. Okay. What your template is. And so you want to change video to custom. Then the next thing you want to do, which I didn't know is backwards, is you want to make the resolution 1080 by 1920. That's the tricky part. And you click OK. Okay, and then now that gives us the proper canvas to work with. So this is the video area that we have to work with, all right? And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my music video, and you want to grab whatever video it is that you want to put in. And I'm going to grab my song, No Plan B, and I'm going to drag it in here. And the next thing I'm going to do is it can only be seven to eight seconds, I think Spotify said. No, it says it's going to be three to eight seconds long. And so I want to grab a real interesting part of my video here. And so I'm going to grab something in the chorus where I'm in Japan, maybe something here with lots of colors. Let's do right here. How about that? I think I'm going to grab it more with the city part right here. This is cool. Let me skateboard in. Lots of movement, so I'm going to grab eight seconds of that. So I'm going to drag this back, grab that little arrow PC. I just grabbed that and dragged that back, and I'm going to drag this to just under eight seconds. And I'm going to take a look at it and make sure it looks good. So that's a nice little loop there that Spotify can use. So now I want to do is I want to click on File, I want to click on Share, and I want to click on Master File. And the next thing you want to click on is Settings. And computer is fine. I'm going to change the resolution to 1080. I want it to be a higher resolution. And the fact that that says computer, that's good. And it is an MP4. If you go back to Spotify, you'll see it has to be an MP4, three to eight seconds long. And then I'm going to click next. And it's asking me where I want this. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And I'm going to call this No Plan B Canvas. Save. That's done exporting. So now what I can do is, is I can go back to Spotify. I click on this plus button here. And if I click on my desktop and there's my no plan B canvas. And there it is right there. Now I could move this up or down and I could add more videos in here and fill up this whole screen. Um, it all depends on how you shot it and how you want to work it. But I want something in there at least because I know having something in there is going to make it look a lot better than what's currently in there. And so now all I have to do is click next and I click agree, post. Now it's uploading. And the idea of this is that you know, people are going to see this music video, they're going to watch longer, they might share it, it might even get them going to YouTube, uh, it might get them just searching me more and being like, oh, this is dope. And it's just the idea of them connecting more with you as a brand. So it says, look, posted your canvas is on Spotify, but it could take still about an hour to appear for some listeners. But I'm just really happy that that's in there. So what I would do is definitely for new songs and definitely your older songs, I'm going to do this to my most popular song so that I have a canvas up there that is rocking okay now if you need more help with Spotify I want to encourage you to go to amazon.com and pick up a copy of my book Spotify profits it's a number one bestseller you can get it right here um, it's had 18 star rating and just crushing it I'll put the link below this video and if you need more training than that 
then uh, just join the Spotify Profits course, which I'll also put below here. But I hope this has helped you out. I searched everywhere on how to do this and couldn't find anything. So I really hope this helps you out a lot. So go make some canvases for your songs. My name's Chris from smartmusicbusiness.com. Okay, this is me right here from smartmusicbusiness.com, and I help uh, artists market and promote and monetize their music. Hope you found this helpful today.